All right, BFit Nation, welcome back to another Motivational Monday, but not just any Monday. It is a special Monday today. We have a special guest with us today, all right? Please help me welcome Fitbit coach and a U.S. Army veteran, Adrian Richardson. Adrian, how are we doing over here? Doing great. So happy to be here uh, with uh, BFit Nation, representing Fitbit, and obviously representing the U.S. Army. Uh, as a veteran, it feels good to uh, work out with you all today, and I'm excited for today's workout. Absolutely, Adrian. It's so great to have you here. It's so great to finally put things together here, focus on our fitness, focus on our health, our wellness, like we do every week. Be Fit Nation, we are looking to strive week by week, helping each other, increasing our strength, our health, and our wellness once again. So with that, Adrian and I have teamed up, and we have put together a special be fit and fitbit workout program for you for today all right strap in turn on those fitbit smart watches and let's get dialed in so with that adrian um any special uh notifications any special formats that we should set our fitbit watches to yeah go ahead and uh put it on exercise mode and then choose a workout so you're going to swipe over to you where you see exercise and then you're going to select workout from the list of available exercises and then let's get ready to get after it. All right, Adrian. So we'll go through uh, the timing. That way our BFIT Nation knows exactly uh, what to look for as far as timing goes, our structure, our programmed workout for today. Uh, Adrian and I will go through uh, and demo each movement for today that way there are no surprises we know exactly what we're getting into uh, we will both take care of some dynamic stretching to get our mind and bodies prepared and ready to work and then we'll jump into our specific workout to have a lot of fun with today's workout all right so our timing for today team it is 40 seconds on 20 seconds off four exercises and four rounds with one minute rest in between each round once again 40 seconds on 20 seconds off, four movements, four rounds, and one minute rest in between each round. All right, Adrian, looks like you are good to go. Where are you joining us from today, Adrian? Yeah, I am here. I'm ready to rock. I'm in Oakland, California, and it is hot, sunny, but it's a, it's a great day. So it's going to be a great day for you all, BFit Nation. With that timing that we have for the workout, if you get confused or anything, I will have this clock behind me on this TV keeping us on pace. And we will also be calling out the times uh, as we go through the workout to keep you all motivated and to let you know where you are in all the sets. Absolutely, absolutely, BFit Nation. And before we jump right in, let me go in and can you tell us a little bit about your role as a Fitbit coach and, and how you've uh, developed and moved forward with this past year and, and your at home or, or anywhere type of workouts to keep uh, you know, your viewers, your, your members uh, healthy and, and safe and, and leading that active lifestyle? Absolutely. So uh, myself, uh, as I said, I'm in Oakland, California. I started with uh, Fitbit under Fitstar, which it was a, an app um, for body weight based workouts you can do at home that adapts to you as you go through the training uh, that was acquired by Fitbit. And then I rolled up into the coach on the Fitbit coach app, which you may be familiar with. You may have seen me there if you've downloaded it. Um, if you're not familiar with Fitbit coach, but you use the regular Fitbit app, you'll also see me within the premium workouts uh, within Fitbit. And so my fitness journey started um, like many of you uh, with, you know, sports growing up. So started out running track and field, also played basketball join the military um, where, you know, obviously we're living active lifestyles in the military, running and gunning all day. So got used to being very active there. And then once I got out, wanted to continue that path. And so started studying um, personal training, nutrition and fitness, and just really seeing how I could uh, dial it all in and, and not just, you know, be like a gym guy lifting weights or, you know, someone who just runs, but really trying to look at health as a total picture and seeing how we can have um, you know, more longevity and, and, and better years ahead as we start to get a bit older. And so uh, with that came into Fitbit and have really just been pushing the philosophy of, hey, you know, we, we gotta live um, healthy all day, but that doesn't mean you have to work out every day, right? So that's your sleep, your nutrition, your hydration, and then your activity and putting uh, that all together and, and, and painting the total picture of health and wellness. Absolutely, Adrian, thank you so much. And with Fitbit and 
your smart devices, your smart watches, they bring just a, a total package to the way we look at our health and our wellness, our sleep, and a holistic approach to our everyday lifestyle. So um, it's, it's just such an awesome, uh, an awesome way to track uh, the things that we do daily and keep an eye on the things. I know we will call things out throughout our workout and at the end as well, but just such a, a great tool to utilize through our everyday lifestyle. So yeah, um, it, it really, it, it lets you uh, focus on, uh, you know, things that you might not even be aware of, you know, as far as uh, what's going on inside your body, things that you wouldn't necessarily know, like your resting heart rate or your breathing rate. And so really, I like to tell, uh, you know, the people that I coach and, and, and people within my circle, if you're not tracking, you're slacking, right? So you need to know what's going on, uh, not just what you can see, but what's going on inside. <laughs> I love that. If you're not tracking, you're slacking. We are going to track today. We're going to track our metrics. Again, we have four movements that we're going to go through today. We will demo each of these movements. We are going to track our metrics. We are not slacking today, Fit Nation. <laughs> so get settled in. Grab that towel. Grab that water. Adrian and I are going to demo each of these four movements for today. We are going to uh, call out any coaching cues that you may take away to benefit you to execute each of these movements. And then uh, we will jump into some dynamic stretching to get our minds and our bodies prepared and ready to work. Sound good? Let's do it. All right, Adrian. All right. Here we go. So for today's workout, we have exercise number one, jump squats. Okay. So we're looking on a bit of a high intensity movement here. Okay. We're looking on a bit, add a bit of explosiveness with these jump squats. So we're going to take our feet. We're going to set them shoulder width apart with that soft bend at your knee. Okay. To your comfort level, but challenge yourself here. We are going to drop down into that squat position, right? Hips go back and down front knees knees are tracking over those toes all right into that low squat i see adrian call it out adrian and then we're up there you are. landing soft and back absolutely. up and down absolutely just like adrian is doing right there for that demo we are jumping we are exploding up rolling up off the toes and then keeping that chest up that head up nice and proud and we are going to engage yes sir adrian's looking good over there that's going to be exercise <laughs> number one with that jump squat yeah, make sure you're landing softly on those jump squats. And when you go into that squat, you're spreading the floor with the knees, not letting the knees collapse in. Absolutely, absolutely, Agent. All right, our next movement, we're gonna go into a low plank or forearm plank. So you're gonna come on down onto the ground. You're gonna set that shoulder and elbow right on top of each other. Place those hands flat, step the feet back, tuck the hips under, squeeze the glutes, Press the earth away with the arms, active body here. We think of this as a core movement and you're definitely gonna feel it in the abs, but if you're doing it right, you're feeling it in your entire body. Legs are working here. We're squeezing those glutes, quads are active, actively pressing the earth away so the upper back is active. If doing this from the feet doesn't work, you can drop to the knees as well. Just ensure you get those hips forward, right? So. Don't want your butt in the air. This isn't the move here. Hips forward, squeeze the glutes, active. It's gonna be right over the wrist. Plant the hands, step the feet back. Again, tucking the hips under, actively pressing the earth away with those fingers here. So this is a strong high plank from here. You're gonna drive the knees in, keeping the back flat. Bop, 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 bop. So it's important to keep the back flat, right? Don't want your butt in the air doing this. That's not the move. Keep the hips down, drive the knees in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then push. One and two, and then keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and push. One and two. That's the movement there. If you need to drop to the knees for those push ups, that's all right. If you need to slow down those, those mountain climbers, and step the feet in instead of running them in, that's all right too. Find the level of comfort that works for you. Don't be afraid to slow it down if the form starts to get a little sloppy. We want really good quality reps every time. Absolutely, great cues, Adrian, great cues. So once again, to round us out here, four movements here, we have exercise. Our movement number one is a jump squat, right? Exercise number two, movement number two, that low plank position, holding that plank position. All right, number three is that reverse lunge. 
And to round us out for a round, exercise number four is going to be that 10 mountain climbers and then two push-ups, all right, to split us up. All right, team. How does that sound, BFIT Nation? Are we ready to go, ready to rock, ready to roll? Let's do it, squad. BFIT Nation, right, let's get ready. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll jump into some dynamic stretching right here. Adrian, would you suggest we start our watches now or? When yeah, we, let's start it now. Okay. All right, team, let's start it now. So we are going to look for that exercise mode on our Fitbit device. Mm -hmm. All right, scroll all the way down to that workout tab. And correct, we are starting. All right, team, we're gonna jump into some dynamic stretches here. All right, standing up nice and tall here to get our bodies prepared and ready to work. All right, get that blood flowing, get that oxygen level moving and grooving, all right? So I'm gonna start us out with a dynamic quad stretch here, and then Adrian will jump in after this for that second dynamic stretch, and we will go on and on. All right, so dynamic quad stretch here, we're gonna take that right leg, we're gonna extend it back towards our glutes, pushing those hips forward, all right? Extending that opposite arm up to the ceiling here, reaching as tall as possible, right? Again, pushing those hips forward. We're gonna alternate legs, left leg and right leg, left arm and right arm, pushing those hips forward once again and extending that opposite arm up a little bit taller, okay? This is a great time to go at your own pace here, but also a great time to scan your body, all right? Scan your body, see if there's any tight areas that you need to focus on before this workout. Yeah, the warm up is a great opportunity to really check in with the body, see what you're bringing to the table today. Each day is a bit different. So just because you were stronger yesterday in a particular movement doesn't necessarily mean you'll be that way today and vice versa, right? You may have been ch uh, balanced, challenged, you know, doing this uh, type of movement where you're standing on one leg yesterday and today you're like, man, I'm feeling really good. So lean into it and have a good time. Absolutely, absolutely. And with that, I know my hips are a little bit tight today, so I'm just going to dive into two more reps here. <laughs> All right, I'm shaking it out here. All right, let's keep this going. Extend your arms out at about 45 degrees, so not right to the side, slightly in front here. We're going to go opposite hand, opposite foot. Just get a bit of a stretch through those hamstrings. And if that hand and foot don't quite reach, that's all right. Go for the shin or maybe the knee. It's important that you stand up tall with this movement, right? So you'll notice I'm not bending over to reach the foot. I'm standing up nice and tall, bringing that foot up to meet the hand. Feeling that stretch through the back of the legs. Again, working on a little bit of balance here as well. I like to sneak in some balance training whenever I can. It becomes so important, especially as we get older, that we maintain our balance. That prevents us from having accidents where you might fall or trip, and not be able to catch yourself. A couple more here. One more each. And good, shake that out. All right. Good cues, good cues. Okay, I'm gonna move on with hip circles here to really dive into those hips once again, all right? We should feel our hamstrings nice and elevated, our nice and warmed up, nice and activated, our glutes as well. So let's go into hip circles here. I'm gonna take my right leg. I'm going to rotate it back and then rotate it forward on the same side. Take that left knee, all right? Nice big circle here from the front to the back, back to the front, all right? Trying to keep that, those hips square to the front of the room, wherever that may be. All right, if we've been seated for a long period of time, this is a great time to really dive in and just open up those hips, right? Work on our mobility, working on opening up those hips, getting some blood flow to our legs, our lower body. Get them ready to work here. Oh, this feels good. <laughs> Indeed it does. And also team, focus on that breathing as well. Don't forget to breathe. Breathing is important through each one of these movements as well as our stretching. So. Nice deep breaths in and nice deep breaths out. Wait, exhale. <sighs> Great way to keep your heart rate under control here. However, I believe we're hitting, we are going to hit our active zone minutes today, Adrian. Oh, yeah. We're taking it slow with the warm up. We're easing into it. I like to call this a slow burn, right? It, but before you know it, it'll be a raging inferno. <laughs> Absolutely. Take advantage of your stretching. Take advantage of your stretching. 
All right. There we go. Last three, two, one. All right, team. Good job. All right, we're gonna move into inchworm. So come on to the back of the mat here. Put those feet about hip distance or so apart. Movement starts in those hips, knees are soft. We hip hinge down, 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 feeling that stretch in the hamstrings. Let the hands come down, walk them out until you find yourself in a strong high plank. You have the option here to do a push up if you're feeling really you know, warmed up and, and motivated, you can do that, don't have to. And then walk those hands back, keeping the legs mostly straight, feeling that stretch, moving with control, rolling up slow. And then repeating that motion, coming on down, walking those hands forward, feeling the stretch in the legs, finding that strong high plank, maybe doing a push up, maybe not. And then walking those hands back. And again. Good. Adrian, this is one of my favorite dynamic movements here, the inchworm. It just, it's a great way to incorporate so many muscle groups within our bodies getting ready to work. And yes, surprisingly, absolutely. surprisingly, it's not a quick or fast tempo movement, but it sure does get that heart rate elevated. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, this one, you don't have to move fast to make it be effective. You're just going slow. Before you know it, you're like, oh, I'm definitely warm. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> Let's do one more. All right, team. Good stuff here. Good stuff here. We're just going to cap off our dynamic stretching with some YTWs here for a little bit of upper body mobility and warm up in our shoulders, in our chest, in our rear, mid and upper back here. So we're gonna take a nice strong stance here. We're gonna bring our arms, our hands together to center. All right, chest is up nice and proud, head is looking straight ahead. We're gonna make a big Y formation with our arms here. All right, really elongating those arms and our shoulders. You should feel that mobility, a little bit of blood flow into those shoulders, shoulder caps. Coming back to center here, gonna make a nice strong T. Again, extending left and to the right, back to center, and then making a nice strong W, really showing off our biceps here, engaging that mid to upper back and our shoulder blades. Coming back to center here, we're gonna repeat this process into a big Y. Good team, good, good, good. Last T here, left and right, a little longer, a little further out, really pausing on that one. Last W here, showing off those biceps. Getting our breath under control here before we get ready to work, team. All right, that's the last one here with those YTWs. Grab some towels, grab a water. Let's get ready to work, team. Once again, if you were just joining us, and I know we're locked in and ready to roll here, I am joined with Fitbit coach Adrian Richardson here. So, <laughs> how's it going, so, BFit Live team? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, team. So, with a special edition here, we are going to get ready to work. Our watches are set to workout mode on our Fitbit devices. All right. Once again, let's go ahead and get our timers. I know our timer looks like it's ready to go. Okay, Adrian. So rock over with here. that, once again, jump squats, low plank for two, reverse lunge for three, 10 mountain climbers, there's two shoulder, two push-ups for exercise number four. All right, team, starting that clock. Adrian has the cue. Adrian's going to drive. So we are up All right. in seven. Five second countdown. Jump squats. Get ready. Let's go. All right, team. Stay with us. Really driving up through those heels, through those toes, using those arms for Soft momentum. Landing. Absolutely. Soft landing. Absorb that weight, team. Almost there, team. Keep it up. I know those legs are probably starting to feel it right about now. We're almost through. There you go. Last 10. Finish out strong, team. Woo! All right. 20 seconds of rest here, team. We have earned it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Low plank coming up. You're going to get down into that on deck in that low plank position. Five seconds. 
Three, two, one, let's go. All right, team, let's get comfortable here in that low plank position. Really focusing on the cues that Adrian gave us earlier doing, during our demo. Squeezing those glutes, tucking the hips under, pressing those heels back, pressing the earth away with the forearms. 20 seconds left. Good work, good work. Feeling that, feeling my glutes activated, my quads are fired up from previous movement. Dropping back in those heels, pushing back. Hold on, five seconds to go. There you go, tucking that navel. Two, one, and time. Well good work, team. Breath. Nice and quick here. Reverse lunges are on deck here. Up in 10. Let's get ready, catch your breath. There we go. You're ready to go. Three, two, one. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> nice and comfortable here. Challenge yourself. Really think about that mind to muscle connection here. Chest is up nice and proud. All right. Those arms can be by your side. They can be used as momentum as if you were running opposite hand, opposite knee. They can also track with you, draw, helping you drive up through that front heel. All right, think about that quad being worked, loading up, back up to standing position. Almost there. Just a few more seconds. Three, two, one, time. All right, I got that extra rep in. <laughs> no Good short job. change here. No, gotta earn it. Gotta Come on earn down, it. we got mountain climbers with push-ups. Get that heart rate up, active zone minutes, we're gonna be moving here. Getting that strong high plank. Three, two, one. Here we go. Pump those legs. Bop, bop, bop. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and push. One and two. Back at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and push. There we go. <laughs> And remember, you can drop to the knees for those push-ups, and you can slow that mountain climber down if you're struggling. And if you're feeling Absolutely. good, you can go a lot faster. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And sound effects included can help. <laughs> Tell them, Adrian. Sound effects included. <laughs> sound effects make it fun. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fit Nation. Here's your one-minute break. Your 60 seconds here. Grab that water. Grab that towel. Wipe off. Hydrate. We are right there along with you every step of the way, every Absolutely. rep of the way. Solid so, first round. Solid first round here. Active zone minutes. Adrian, we were talking about active and recovery and activity actually. And mm -hmm. every day, every day movements, every day, every activity matters here. Yeah, that's, that's a great thing with active zone minutes. Obviously, it captures your activity during exercise and working out, but also captures your activity outside of the gym or when you're off the mat and really quantifying all the activity you're doing. Speaking of activity, we got eight seconds. We're getting right back into it. So get on up. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> great segue here, team. Beef, jump squats jump coming squats. up. Here we go, team. Round number two. Oh yeah. Movement number one. First round we learned it. Second round, we are going to crush it here. So on and so forth. But really working on driving up through those heels, through those toes, keeping that chest up nice and, and hips proud. Back. Hips are going back. Lead with those hips. It's all in the hips. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Last 10 seconds. Once again, driving up. Using those arms for momentum, trying to get some space in between your feet and the floor. Two, one, there we go, 20 seconds here. Great job. 20 seconds. Catch your breath, deep breath in. Absolutely. And out. Coming on good down. Work, good work. That low plank, let's get ready. Set the arms, remember shoulder right over the elbows. Feet back, pressing the earth away, let's go. All right team, let's get it, BFit Nation. Keep working, focusing on that breath here. Breathing, holding Absolutely. on, squeezing the legs, glutes, Absolutely. quads, 
whole body's active in this plank. Absolutely. Absolutely. Halfway 20 there. 20 seconds team. to go. Good work, team. Keep it up. Keep it up. You second round, second team. movement. Don't let it win. Keep pushing. You got this. Hold with us. Hold with us. Three, two, one. Time. There Good you job. go, team. Good work. Good work. Shake it off. Here we go. Reverse lunges are on deck here. These breaks are a good opportunity to catch your breath. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Let's get ready to work. Here we go, team. Two, Two, one, let's go. All right, reverse lunges here. Nice extension into that reverse lunge, keeping that chest up nice and proud once again. Driving up through your glutes, through your quads, back to standing position. Really focusing on quality of reps here. Halfway there. Absolutely. Halfway. Remember, you're pushing through that front leg to bring yourself back forward, not pushing off those rear toes. Absolutely. Last 10 seconds, team. Follow it through with us. Last three, two, one. Great job. Great All right. Work, Great work. Got heart rate up. You know what's on deck, mountain climbers and push-ups. Here we go, prepared. 10 and 2. Let's get it. All right, 10 and 2 10 here, and Adrian, two. 10 and 10 2. 10 climbers, 2 push-ups, 3, Absolutely. 2, 1, let's go. Pump those legs, pump, 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 pump. <laughs> yes. Exhaling as you push up, deep breath in as you push, or I'm sorry, lower your body, nice and controlled here. Almost there. Remember, keep that back flat. Keep those hips down. Move those legs. And again, if we need to scale back to our knees for those push-ups, let's do it, team. Let's stay with us. Five seconds to go. Can't stop, won't stop. Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. Ah, yes, sir. Round two is in the books for us, team. Round Sorry. two, great job. Halfway. Halfway there. All right. We didn't come this far, it only come this far. So let's keep pushing, grab that water, towel off here. Grab a sip, yep, hit the towel. Stay motivated, that's what it's all about. Coming together Absolutely. for these workouts, keeping that motivation high, doing something good for your body. Absolutely, Adrian, and again, if you have family members, spouses, kids, friends, now is a great time, battle buddies, now is a great time, again, to share Share, share this workout with your friends, with your peers, all right? Keep each other accountable, all right? Remember, every Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, we're here working together every step of the way here. So we're with you as well as your accountability team. We're up in five, team. <laughs> Back at it. Jump squats. You know the drill. Let's go. I think a nice note to point out here, Adrian, is uh, – your arm movement, just helping you drive up. Keep yeah. The ceiling here. A lot of times you'll see people doing jump squats with the arms going the opposite way, but right. when you swing the arms up for the jump, it really gives you momentum to get that height and then helps you to land soft. Absolutely. All in one here. Your body's moving in one fluid motion, extending up through those legs. Feel that energy going up through those legs, through those heels, up towards your core, your back. Leading with your head and your arms. Almost there. Time. Whew. Good job. I know right. My quads are starting to feel it. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Come on Great down. Great functional movement here. Let's get ready. Forearm planks once more. Set the arms. Shoulders over the elbows. Hands flat. Step the feet back. Let's go. Push the heels. Squeeze the glutes. Activate the quads. Remember, we're not collapsing through the upper body, right? You shouldn't be collapsed. You want to press that upper back away from the ground. Squeezing that abdominal wall. Here Holding on here. There we are, BFIT Nation. Stay with us. Stay with us. Focus on that breathing. All right? Remember to breathe. Remember to breathe, yes. And when and you start cords. to feel that fatigue, that's where the mental strength comes in, right? 
Push through. Absolutely. Hold on for just five more seconds. Absolutely. Push through, team. Great job. Great work. Great work. 40 seconds of a low plank in the books. We are standing up nice and tall for that reverse lunge. <sighs> Feeling good. Looking good. Feeling Going good. Five looking seconds. Good. Two. One. Here we go. All right, team. Remember, Good. you don't have to go down quite as far as we are. If that front knee doesn't get quite to 90, that's okay. As long as that chest is up, right? You're not collapsed over your thigh. Absolutely. Great cue. Great cue. Halfway there, team. Halfway there. Remember, if you wanted to scale up, dumbbells on either side, left and right, can help you push additional weight through those lower, through that lower body, through your quads, standing up nice and tall, nice and proud. Great cue. I might grab my dumbbells on this next one. <laughs> I'm with you, team. I'm with you. I'm with you, Adrian. Great job. All right. Mountain climbers on deck. Let's get ready. Arguably the toughest move in the set, but I think they're all <laughs> high quality, so maybe not. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. So here we go. 10 mountain climbers, two push-ups coming up, team. Two, one. Let's do it. Try to ten. those knees. And push. Again, just like a few of the same cues from exercise number two with that low plank, keeping that core tight, that back is flat, those hips are square to the floor. Absolutely. Tight core, flat back, pumping those legs. Good job, team. Keep it up. Stay with us here. Stay with us. Move it. Last 10 oh. seconds. Can you pump the legs a little faster? Ha. Ha. There you go. There you go. Great job. Awesome Woo. work, team. Awesome work. Well-deserved break here. Let's get that breath under control. Three down. One to go. One more to go. Adrian, we like to say our last set here is going to be our best set. Our last round is our best round here, BP. Yes. Absolutely. Last round, best round. Yes, sir. Earlier, we were talking about sharing the workout and challenging your, your friends, family, battle buddies, et cetera. That's uh, one thing I want to call out with Fitbit. We do have group challenges you can do, whether that's a step challenge, an active zone minute challenge, a uh, mileage challenge, you name it. It's a great way to motivate your peers, family, and friends, and then obviously getting active, staying active together. Absolutely. Together, together. All right, let's keep each other accountable, team. Keep each other accountable. Speaking of accountability, it's that time. Stand on I'm up. Ready. Last time we're I'm doing ready. jump squats. We're ready. Let's go. Here we go, team. 40 seconds on the clock. You won't see these again today. Last round, best round. Get it all. There it is. Try and challenge yourself here. Maybe you're pushing up a little taller, getting a little bit more distance between you and the floor. Really working on extending those arms up to the ceiling. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to focus on those quads. Looking good. We are almost finished. 10 seconds to go. Good. Feeling keep that burn, up, keep team. It up. Three, two, one. Last rip. <sighs> good. Woo. Way to finish that one out, team. Way to finish it out. That wasn't an easy one. The watch is buzzing. I just That's moved up a exactly zone. Exactly. <laughs> what's happening with mine? I'm about to call that out, team. Yeah. Low plank here. Let's get set. Three, two, one. Good. Here we go. Last round, team. A little bit of active recovery here, right? We're still working, but we're not jumping around. Absolutely. Let's Absolutely. I right come down. There we go. Everybody needs to enjoy a bit of active recovery. Mm -hmm. Breathe in, breathe out, stay active. Here we go. Last 10 seconds. Keep that Don't core drop. tight. Don't drop. Those legs are... up. Come on. Yes, sir. Three. Push it back two, to those heels. One. All right. time. Good job. Good work. Good work, team. Good work. Last and oh. final movement for today. I'm sorry. Second to oh. last here. Second to last. I got excited. Not yet. 
Reverse lunge, it's coming up. Here we go. Two, one, let's do it. There we are. Right, I'm grab my weights here. There we Jump are, in. I'm with you. I'm with you, team. Here we go. Jumping in, Adrian and I both scaled up here, challenged ourselves a little bit more for this last and final round. And that's something that's always available to you with these movements, right? We're focusing on body weight, but if you have some dumbbells, bands, or something else you want to use to have some added resistance, definitely feel free to add those in. Absolutely. Get creative here. Your body does not know that it is not a dumbbell. So if it's a gallon of water, if it's something with a handle, grab it. Let's go. Up in three. Two, one, one time. One. <laughs> Good All job, right. team. Good job. Last movement of the morning. Coming on down mountain climbers and push-ups. Get it all, whatever you have left in the tank, empty it here, let's go. Absolutely, leave it all out on the field here, leave it all out on the court, leave it all out at home. Wherever we may be, we are pushing, giving us max effort for this last and final set. Keep driving team, keep driving. Maybe you your tempo's it. a little faster. Halfway. There we go. Ah, sound effects included. 10 seconds, come on, pop, 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 pop. There it is, there it is. And push. One. One more, two. let's go. There you go. Ah. <laughs> Good job. Ah. Woo. D-Fit Nation showed up big today. That was fire. Watch is vibrating off the hook here. <laughs> Letting now us when know. You with your Fitbit. With these active zone minutes, you'll get notifications on the wrist to let you know when you moved up a zone. So from your fat burn heart rate to your cardio heart rate to your peak heart rate. And yep, says I'm in cardio. That sounds about right. You can hear I'm breathing a little harder. That means I'm working a little harder. And the watch is letting me know that. Absolutely. Woo. Good work. Good work. My watch is counting down. Here we go. <laughs> Calories are increasing. Heart rate slowly creeping back down. Yep. That's getting it back under control here. Nice deep breaths. Work on that recovery here. Yeah, deep breath, not short and choppy in the lungs, but full through the diaphragm, filling that belly and rib cage expand. Breathe in and deep. And then full exhale. There we are. Absolutely, BFIT Nation. How are we doing? How are we feeling, guys? How are we feeling, team? All right, be, be sure, be fit. Be <laughs> sure. All right, show Adrian Richardson some love over here. Extend some high fives, extend some likes, some loves. Share, share, share with your accountability partners. <laughs> Adrian was so nice enough here to program a workout, and not only just any workout, we hit all active recovery uh, zones here, I believe with a lot of these different movements here. So we program this workout to be uh, high intensity, then to bring it back down, right? To focus on our breathing, to focus on a little bit more control, all right? That uh, reverse lunge again, driving up a little bit of strength training here. Every day is a workout, whether you're in the, in the gym, in the room, in your studio, in your space, right? Working on dialing in those movements that can carry along to your everyday activity, whatever that may be, okay? Yeah, like we, we, we on this program and we bookended it with two high intensity movements, right? Mountain climbers and jump squats. But those movements in the middle were definitely still getting, you know, you active and really helping you to maintain your strength. And this carries over into everyday life. You know, whether you're doing a lunge to pick something up off the ground, you're standing tall, you're activating your rib cage, your glutes, right? That's a plank. Mountain climbers, obviously some cardio, being able to push and pull different things. Like these movements that we do in the gym really train us for life. Absolutely, absolutely, Adrian. They're so functional. And that's the great thing about moving. That's a great thing about tuning into your body, keeping yourself healthy, but also working on a little bit of strength, a lot of lung capacity with that cardiovascular uh, intensity here. So again, we're training not just here, not just here. We're, we're taking that mindset into our everyday lifestyle. All right. Speaking of lifestyle, right? Fitbit. It is a lifestyle 
type of, of watch here. We can expand through multiple just different avenues, different faucets of our life here and really plug into our Fitbit device. Yeah, your Fitbit is, you know, again, similar to the workout, not just something that's useful in the gym, but it's useful for your entire holistic view of life, right? Whether you're tracking your calories and nutrition and hydration on the app, whether you're using our breathing exercises to help you de-stress or cope with any sort of external stressors, whether you're using our sleep programming and sleep functions to find out what's happening while you're asleep, you know, what, what's your body really doing? That's a great thing about our Fitbit devices is that you're not just finding out what you're doing in the moment, but you're seeing what's going on in the background that you're not necessarily active of or, or conscious of and, and actively paying attention to. So then if you look at the app, you look at the watch, you're like, oh, wow, I, I had some disturbed sleep last night. I wonder what happened. Or yeah, Fitbit, you're telling me I'm really stressed. That's actually true. What can I do to, to help that, right? And so it's really a, a partner in what you're doing uh, for your health and wellness. And that's so important, especially in times like these, with so many unknowns and different things going on in the world, being able to track what's going on inside our body, both internally, externally, what's going on with us is, is so crucial right now. Absolutely, absolutely, Adrian. And I think it's important to note that, yes, we put in a lot of the hard work within this moment, but it's also equally as important to focus on our recovery, just mm -hmm. like you mentioned, our sleep, our water intake, um, you know, our resting heart rate that we mentioned. I think it's, um, it's important and Fitbit offers the tools available to help you track each of these metrics from water to sleep to your, just re your recovery mm -hmm. a a as a whole. So definitely some great, great, great information that Fitbit has to offer. Yeah, and with the uh, purchase of the new devices, you will get uh, at least six months of premium service included with the purchase. So with that premium, it gives you deeper insights into what's going on and, and uh, allows you to kind of do a deep dive, say, on your heart rate or on your sleep, for example, and, and really, um, you know, find out what's going on in your, in your deep sleep, you know, and say, well, I, I'm only getting 30 minutes of deep sleep a night. That doesn't sound right. What, what can I do to change that? So you get access to all these features with the basic service, but with premium, you're able to go a bit deeper and, you know, kind of turn those dials a bit more to find uh, what really works for you. Everything is, is so individual, right? Like what works for me for sleep might not work for Roy and, and what works for him might not work for you, right? So it's really about finding out what, what's gonna work best for you in the moment and what your body needs and then being able to actually do that, right? And having the motivation, the, uh, the, the, the group of accountability buddies and, and or accountability devices, right? With Fitbit to help you to do those things. Absolutely. And, and these aren't just numbers that we see on our watch, on our devices. They're, they're actual just, uh, they're data that's being shown to us, but it's, it's a tool to help us out. Just like you're mentioning, um, you know, with your, your resting heart rate, if you're, if you know what your resting heart rate is, you know, not at an elevation standpoint, but if you're calm, if you're down, your breath is under control and we are at rest. Um, this is a great way to monitor uh, how our body is performing, not just being active, but also um, controlling our, our bodies and, and knowing if there's a disturbance with mm -hmm. us with, with any type of uh, sickness or illness or if, if something is wrong, just like you mentioned um, right now and, and earlier. Uh, so yeah, yeah, you're tracking your, your resting heart rate, your, your respiration, breathing rate, um, your oxygen saturation rate and your heart rate variability. These are all things that your Fitbit device can do. And if you don't know what any of those things mean, that's okay. Like it is, you know, it could sound very sciencey, but uh, the app does a really good job of breaking it down into everyday language and helping you to understand why it's important and why you should be tracking it. And we'll give you, you know, basic alerts if things seem uh, out of whack, you know, from your baseline. Absolutely. And, and Adrian, if, if people are more, if, if they're interested and if they're wanting to know more, take a deep dive into Fitbit and, and everything that Fitbit has to offer. Not just, I know we're wearing, we are tracking ourselves with the Versa 3, uh, mm -hmm. this workout and through our training. But if there's any additional watches that people would like to uh, take a look at and, and really read into uh, for what is best for them and their lifestyle, where can uh, people go as far as Fitbit fit goes? Um, where can they go to find uh, more information on, on your side? Of the yeah, you got a great question. So if you're looking for more information on all the devices Fitbit has to offer, and you know, what's the difference between, say, the Sense and the Versa 3, 
or the Lux and the Charge 4. The Lux is the one we just launched, by the way. Um, very uh, aesthetically pleasing, very beautiful watch, or, or tracker, excuse me. Um, you can just go to Fitbit.com and we've got all the devices there. There's even a, a, a ability to you know, select a couple and do a comparison and find out what really works for you, right? Maybe you don't need GPS, you know, so that can bring the price point down for you. Or maybe you don't want a smartwatch, you want a tracker, the form factor of a tracker, or you want something that's gonna really help you to focus on your stress. You know, you have issues with stress. So there's ways, uh, different uh, capabilities and different uh, watches and different trackers. And there's a way to compare them all on Fitbit.com. You can also from there, uh, check out uh, some articles on our blog, which do a good job of breaking it down as well. And if you want, you could even, you know, message me directly and, and I'll try to point you in the, in the right direction. Um, you can find me on, on Facebook at Adrian Richardson or on Instagram at adrianfit.co. Fantastic. And, and team, just so you know, uh, visit shopmyexchange.com. All right. Look for our fitness devices, search Fitbit, and we have a catalog of smart uh, watches of activity trackers available for you to purchase whether you're online or in store we carry an abundance of fitbit products for you for every uh workout for every lifestyle that you choose and are wanting to track all right we have those available for you at shopmyexchange.com search fitbit you will find all of the fitbit devices uh, that we carry as well as the versa 3 that adrian and i are using today <laughs> yeah, uh, I love this Versa 3. It's been, uh, you know, very versatile. <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, all jokes aside, it's a great, it's a great watch. Um, it really helps with, with my lifestyle, you know, a, a GPS. I'm out, outside running trails a lot, so I really appreciate that. Uh, contactless payment. So if I'm going out for, for a run and I want to stop in and get a drink or something, I can just use my watch. I don't have to bring my phone. And uh, the ability to track all my, my health and wellness metrics also. And remember, you get that six months uh, free premium service when you purchase a new device. So uh, if you're curious about uh, what premium is, you can check that out on the website as well. And, um, you know, you can have a little demo of it and see what we have to offer. Absolutely. Fantastic, Adrian. All great stuff there that Fitbit has to offer for us to take advantage of, all right, to keep track of ourselves, our health, and our wellness, and living a BeFit lifestyle team. All right. Well, um, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's collaboration here. All right, leave us a note in the comments below. Let us know where you watched from. Let us know where you joined us from. Let us know where you tackled your workout from, okay? Again, let us know if, if these were uh, elevated movements for you or if you'd like to see more uh, regression in some of these movements. I know a lot of these may seem a little more, um, you know, they can be a little more um, uh, challenging, but it's, it's what we make it. If it doesn't challenge us, it doesn't change us, team, mm -hmm. all right? All right, be, be prepared, be, be mindful, be ready. Let's move forward stronger week by week. Let's continue to grow together. I'd like to send a big thank you so much to our Fitbit team, to our, 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 our vendors here, our partners, and Adrian Richardson once again. Thank you so much for joining us, Adrian. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. This was fantastic. Uh, great job, BeFit Nation. And Roy, you know, personally, thank you for, for inviting me to uh, work out with you, join you in this workout, and, and join you at BeFit Nation today through this workout. You can take this workout anywhere. We did it inside, but, you know, the weather's getting nice. So, you know, grab your phone, go to the park, go to the, you know, to the trails, get, get away from the house and get outside and get some nature away from people and breathe that fresh air and have a good time. I know I had a good time and I'll be coming back to this workout at some point in the future. Absolutely, Adrian. Thank you so much once again. And BeFit Nation, all right, stay active, all right? Stay active. Take these workouts with you, all right? We will catalog this on our Facebook page as well as post it up on our YouTube page, and we will share it uh, throughout all of our social media networks as possible. So with that, BeFit Nation, BeFit Ambassador Roy Montes here, Adrian Richardson, Fitbit Coach. Yes, sir. <laughs> thank you, guys. Have a good all right, one. thank you. Signing off here. See ya.